Let's be honest. It's difficult to get through the end of this week's Parsha because it's so repetitive. We're told about the contents of the offering that each one of the 12 tribal leaders brought in connection with the Chanukah Samishkan, the inauguration of the tabernacle. The problem is that each offering is identical. And yet we're told the contents for each and every one. 12 of them. Why couldn't God just say in one section, each one of the 12 tribal leaders brought the following? Why do we need to hear about the contents of each identical offering over and over and over again? So the commentators offer some beautiful explanations. Here are a couple of them. First, God's showing us how to say thank you in the best way possible, how to show gratitude. You get married. You can buy, and I'm not criticizing, everyone can make their own decisions, but you can buy one of those pre-printed little cards that says, thank you so much for your thoughtful gift, and send it to each one of the people that sent you a wedding gift. Or you can take the extra time and the extra effort to write a card to each person. Thank you so much for coming to the wedding, and thank you so much for that beautiful serving tray. It was so great to see you. And sign off. And then to the next person, so sorry you couldn't make it, but I was thinking of you, and thank you so much for that bowl. And then the next person, it was great to see you and thank you for that basketball. And you'll say, wait, basketball? Yeah, basketball. It's been almost 32 years. Note to self, I gotta get working on the anniversary gift. Almost 32 years since I got married, but I still remember the best gift we got was a brand new leather basketball from one of my friends. One of my still single friends, obviously. We opened it up, my wife said, this is a joke, right? I said, a joke? It's the most useful gift we got. How many bowls and platters do we need? That was the bowl that I used throughout law school but I digress. That's the way to show gratitude, to take the extra time and take the extra effort. Second answer is that the Medrash goes through the different intentions that each tribal leader had when he brought his offering. What do you mean different intention? They all brought the identical offering. Weren't they thinking the same thing? And the answer is no. They were thinking 12 different things. Each one of them had a different, beautiful intention behind the offering, even though they were identical items in each offering. It's showing us we have many, many commandments, many mitzvahs, and God wants us to follow the rules. He doesn't want us to freestyle and make up the rules on our own. But while following the rules, it's okay. We're encouraged to have different thoughts, different intentions. He gives us all those different touch points so that we can have different connections with him, thinking different thoughts about our relationship with him as we observe the commandments. And that's fine. It's encouraged. It's a beautiful thing and that wonderful tapestry that we create while we engage in the same rituals, same commandments, the same traditions, but with different thoughts, different connections to God. 